Skookum, welcome to Toronto. I'm Uno Host, Eris, or you can call me A Ray or Mr. A, but you doesn't have to call me Johnson. Just wanted to clear that up. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Thank you for sharing Uno time with me today. Cyclops Plaza is the name I've given to this place. It's a place where megaliths are found. We're going there right now. Why Cyclops Plaza? I think I've discovered a megalithic signpost built by Cyclops at a prehistoric Neolithic crossroads or plaza, lost in plain sight right here on the shores of Lake Ontario. Greek mythology tells us Cyclopses built the walls of Mycena. The masonry is a type of stonework built with massive limestone boulders, roughly fitted together with little or no mortar. The boulders are unworked or worked roughly with a hammer. Is this story true? Maybe. Hesiod tells us the Cyclopses are three sons of the gods Uranus and Gaia. Their names Argus, Bronte, and Stropes. Bright Thunderer, Lightener. They were skilled at building walls and making weapons. They forged thunderbolts for Zeus. It is said that Apollo killed the Cyclopses because they made the thunderbolts that killed Apollo's son, Asclepios. What is a megalith? A megalith is a stone of immense size or row of stones used in ancient construction work, Cyclopean masonry. Megaliths are also found in Neolithic remains. Now Uno have at least six megaliths. You may have read about megaliths as evidence of mysterious technologies existing in the distant past. What if those mysterious technologies were in fact beings or real cyclopses? In the eyes of the world, Canada 10,000 years ago, it was buried in ice. There was no room for, for people to live. To my knowledge, Canada has never been a place associated with megaliths. Toronto holds the same distinction. Off the top of my head, I can think of Oak Island as uh, a megalithic site, but little else until now. Let me show you what I mean. These six stones, five of them limestone, one of them is granite, mark a signpost that has been here for a very long time. I believe Canada is a young country and the world's attention span is short. Memba, events have to be exceptional for Canada to stand out. A diamond in the dust analogy. Maybe that's always been true about this land. Canada is a young country, but the land is old. I'm not an archaeologist or a geologist or an ancient alienist 
or a historian. To be honest, I have a high school level knowledge of science, so I won't be conducting any experiments today. Not alone, sometimes. More jokes. I'm just a guy trying to impress a girl. However, me can ask questions like, how did I find the megalith? I was out on a discovery walk with my wife. That's me. And this is her. Hi, gorgeous. She's the best thing to happen to me. I don't know how she's been able to put up with me over all these years. Sometimes I must sound strange to her, especially when things like megaliths come up in our day-to-day -day conversation. She says she has no opinion. Then I'm going to have to impress her. Now, she's seen the megaliths, but I'm going to have to make a film and make a big deal out of it to impress her and change her opinion about them. Now, during the pandemic, the wife and I like to get out. We try to mix it up a little bit. So we thought we'd visit the nearby ravine. Toronto's giant ravines are a unique natural wilderness 15 minutes from the downtown. This is Discovery Walk number 55. and Discovery Walk 59. Cyclops Plaza. Hopefully she'll like it. Ah, the things we do for love. Long story short, we're hiking along a path through the bush. The path is muddy, so I'm looking at my feet. I lift my head to look up the path, and about 25 meters up the path is a boulder the size of a pickup truck. Boulders that size are rare in this area, and I love boulders. When I saw it, I ran up the path to meet the boulder. When I got there, I climbed on it, and that's when I noticed the other boulders. How do I know it's a megalith? At first, I thought it was a work of art, but art doesn't behave this way. Unless I'm wrong, art is meant to be seen and experienced. These six boulders are buried in the bush where no one can see them. 
I don't believe that was the plan. These stones were arranged as a forever signpost by someone or something with empathy. Each boulder weighs more than a ton and would be way too heavy to move. Back in the day, engineers would simply blow up the stones and then grind the rubble into aggregate rather than move them about with a crane or a bulldozer, then display them where no one can see them. I've counted 12 suspect boulders across half an acre lost amongst the ruins. Nothing's curious about these megaliths. The alignment of these stones is clumsily precise, like a cyclopean wall. Although they point northwest, perhaps they pointed true west sometime in the distant past. That would tell Ono when this megalith was built. Say you arrived here 10,000 years ago. You would think that these stones were placed here by the gods as a signpost pointed west to the exit. And you'd be right. Someone or something had the knowledge and foresight to put these stones here. Cyclopses? The stones here look immensely old. In fact, the Gaia stone have markings upon it, a fever, fingerprints, etc. <laughs> Please hang up and try again. A. Are the myths true? According to the fingerprint evidence, maybe it is said that Apollo killed the Cyclopses before they finished teaching Zeus how to defeat death. It's clear the Cyclopses possessed advanced knowledge the gods trusted. When the Cyclopses died, so too did their advanced knowledge. We may never know the truth about these stones, but based on Greek myth alone, these stones have been here a very long, long time. I haven't ruled out the possibility that this isn't a megalith. Instead, is man-made. If it is art, bravo, I'm impressed. Memba, art is open to interpretation. And one of the privileges of discovery is I get to name the stones. These two I'm going to call Uranus and Gaia. Then Argus, Bronte, and Stropes. And at the very end, Apollo. Maybe I can call it Stone Compass or Stone Hedge, but it doesn't have to be called Cyclops Plaza. Now, have I impressed her with this film? I may have frightened her a little. I don't blame her. But about the megaliths, she still has no opinion. <laughs>